Hey, what's up, guys? It's Russo and Jordy with Backdoor Fantasy Sports. This is our late night show, and we've got four plays for you um, for the small slate tomorrow, just a three game slate. Um, these will be the only picks we're putting out for Sunday, but we wanted to get them out late and we wanted to get the best value we could get you um, because we've got church in the morning. And uh, by the time these games start, um, we're, we're just we're going to skip the day show tomorrow um, because there's not going to be a whole lot of value across these uh, these three games anyways. But we'll be getting right back after it for Monday. And same goes for our NFL picks, which is typical. We're going to put out six picks for NFL uh, after this video drops. And um, and then, yeah, we are going to we're going to take tomorrow off um, and uh, get all prepped for the next week. So we appreciate you tuning in. If you're new to our show, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell and uh, like the video. You guys have been just killing it on the likes. We really appreciate it. You have no idea how much it helps. So thank you so much. And if you don't mind, just hit us with a like again so we can. And, uh, get this thing rolling. We're on our way to twelve thousand subs. I'm pumped, man. Uh, yeah, it's been uh, it's it's been it's been getting me excited about uh, uh, hitting that benchmark. But all right, so um, we are running a promotion for Parlay Play, um, which is the new platform we partnered up with. Um, if you sign up for Parlay Play, you will get uh, you use code Backdoor. That's the most important thing. Use code Backdoor. You get a 100% deposit match up to $100. You'll get a $5 promo slip um, on top of the, the deposit match. And what we're throwing in is um, a month in our premium Discord. So uh, all you have to do is sign up, make sure you get that code in because that's the only way that the, the Discord uh, is gonna happen. Um, but once you do that, we'll be able to confirm with Parlay Play. All you have to do is email us at bdfantasysports at gmail.com and uh, let us know like, hey, I signed up for this. Here's my email. We'll confirm it with Parlay Play. We'll get you in the Discord for 30 days. Um, so yeah, and then if you haven't signed up for Underdog yet either, they're one of our partners. Uh, use code BACKDOOR and they will give you uh, up to $1,000 in bonus cash plus a free pick to help you cash your first slip. Um, there's a link in the description for all the platforms we're partnered with if you guys want to check any of that out. So let's talk about these plays. Let's do it. Well, before we do, what did we go? We put out five eight picks. Three. Five and three. We went five and three the night before. We're close, man. Yeah. I wanna I wanna get I wanna get our family a full eight and eight out of eight picks. We're close. <laughs> these guys be, just gotta yeah. play, you know? Like today, uh who was it? It was yeah. uh uh, Nikola Jovic, the dude went for like one for eight. So it's like, we can't help that. Like the dude's been killing it every day. And then he shoots one for eight. He just had a bad night. And then in turn, we all have a bad night. So stuff like that just sucks, but that's the nature of the game. So we're working through yeah. like getting over all that bull crap where it's like losing because of just bad plays rather than like now we're losing because people aren't hitting their lines. And that's like what you really want. So. Yeah, and my plays, I went three and one. My my play that didn't hit was uh, uh, Trace Jackson Davis. Is that his name? Yeah, which is crazy because that game went to overtime, but they just wrote it out with the. You yeah, know. he played like he played like less than fifteen minutes total or something crazy yeah. like that. I was like, really? Okay, like um, on a I night guess... where Draymond got fouled out too, so that's really surprising. Yeah. Um, so this is this is you know it's that time of year where we're learning these things because he was looking like he like towards the end of the season last year it's like okay he's earning more minutes for sure this dude is balling out yeah um very pivotal part of what they're doing but uh now we know you know it's like uh he we i take him and he he goes for i think the lowest minutes he's put out on the season so uh we're gonna we're gonna you know iron this these types of things out but we're getting close guys <clears throat> So uh, let's at least go four for four for tomorrow. Thank you. Um, these are the plays we're getting into. I'm running it back with Trey Young on this rebounds and assists. 14 and a half. I'm going to take the over. I'm getting this on all three platforms. On parlay play, I've paired it with Cam Johnson points over 14 and a half. Um, it's a 1.81x. Uh, so pretty solid multiplier. This is not the play I prefer, though. What I'm taking on underdog and prize picks is PJ Washington over six and a half rebounds. That's what I'm matching with Trey Young. Uh, we're getting it again on prize picks and underdog. It's not on parlay play. I refreshed a few times. If it pops up, I prefer that. 
But since it's not available, my next favorite was Cam Johnson points alone. So what are you getting into, Jordy? Yeah, so for me, um, let me make sure this, yeah, okay, went to my screen. Um, gonna up. All right, cool. so yeah, um, I'm taking uh, Clint Capella for over 11 and a half points assists. I really, really like this line because his points are set at 10. <clears throat> ten and a half and his uh, points assists are set at eleven and a half and he's getting one to two assists per game So if we get two assists out of him, we're already getting w way more value out of this play um, Than we would be just the ten point line. So it's a little bit of a gamble Maybe he only gets ten points and we get screwed by it But there's a good possibility with like the way it looks that uh, he goes over this. I'll get into all that but um and then I'm also taking Jaden Ivey's uh, rebounds at three and a half. I like the three points better, but of course, prize picks being the you know typical platform they are, took it away and made it a demon. Uh, but at underdog in parlay play, we're still getting this line. On parlay play, you're getting it at a 1.8x for 1.5 three-pointers made for Jaden Ivey. I mean, that feels like a discount, to be honest, with like a boosted multiplier because th that play is just like... It felt really free. I'm not going to use the word lock because we try not to do that here, but it, it feels really good. So that's the two I'm going to be going with. And also, I wanted to check on one more thing just out of curiosity um, with last night's uh, plays. Yeah, so I had given you guys an extra play, which was Bilal Kulabali over 14 points. Um, he went for 22 points. So he crushed his PRA, he crushed everything that I told you to take of his. That was the original play I was trying to take on Price Picks last night, and I had to pivot to that Jovic play. That's just what happens. Um, so that's that's unfortunate. Sorry about the Jovic play, but Kulabali went crazy. So hopefully you guys got some sort of value on him somewhere. But uh, yeah, that's going to cover all mine. All right. Well, let's start breaking them down. Um, let me start with Trey Young here. Uh, are you up here? There he is. This one is one of those plays you just don't overthink it. I mean, he's played six games. He's cashed it five times by a decent amount, 17 or more. Um, and then uh, the one game that he didn't cash it in, he only went for eight assists, which is still a solid outing, but he's been going double digit assists every other game. And uh, surprisingly, he's had a couple games with eight rebounds, four, five, like his lowest is four. Um, other than this game where he missed, where he went for one rebound, eight assists. So that was against OKC. And I just think that that was like a random outing because he's been, you know, maybe it's just the start of the year, but he's been playing with a different like energy and fierceness, um, still getting his like fat minutes, um, you know, averaging 38.9 minutes a game. Again, I, I'm not going to overthink this. I'm going to take it now. Although surprisingly, last time we took this, it cashed for us really easy. Uh, that was, I think that was this last game when he went for 17 against Sacramento. And uh, they never bumped it. So hopefully this stays up all the way up until game time. But I wouldn't be surprised if this gets bumped. But how much higher are they going to bump it? They're going to give us this line at like 15 and a half. Like maybe it will stay at 14 and a half. But uh, the matchup is solid. 14th in rebounds allowed, 28th in assists allowed. So I'm feeling great about that. Uh, if we take a look here, they the optimizer completely agrees with me. Uh, Daily Grind saying a uh, best play for Trey Young on the board, 52.57% odds to hit the over. They have it at a minus 132. Uh, everybody, yep, there we go. Uh, actually, dang, DraftKings, a couple of these have this. Uh, oh no, yeah, that's what we're getting at, 14 and a half. But yeah, here we are. Uh, FanDuel does have this bumped at 15 and a half already. So lock it in now. Um, but yeah, maybe we'll see this at 15, 15 and a half by the time uh, the games roll around tomorrow on the platforms we're taking it on. Um, so yeah, feeling great about that. And then my next play I want to talk about is uh, PJ Washington because I like this rebounds play. And uh, I wish, you know, by the time you're watching this, if you're watching this the day of on Sunday, uh, check parlay play. Maybe they'll have it up. I don't think they have any Dallas plays right now. Um, so they're just it's it's not available, which is the first time that's happened with parlay play. They're usually ahead on all of these. Um, but yeah, he's he's done this in three straight games going over six and a half rebounds. Uh, he's gone for eight or more in three straight. And, um, you know, Utah. Uh, Utah, Minnesota, and Houston. So decent matchups, uh, or, you know, like kind of like flexing a little bit um, in the sense that like those aren't just like walks in the park, you know, but uh, he actually has a solid matchup here in this game uh, against Orlando. Uh, 24th in rebounds allowed to power forwards. This is an EV plus play on outlier. 
Um, so I love everything about this. That's why I say I prefer it over the Cam Johnson play, but I'm, I'm comfortable with that pivot. If you're just looking to make like a four man out of these on parlay play, I think Cam Johnson is, is a solid uh, pivot option if you can't get this play. Um, averaging 32 minutes a game uh, over the, the five games he's played in 2024. Uh, 12.6 rebound chances per game. Uh, so, you know, three fouls, not getting in foul trouble. It's all looking good. I feel great about this play. Um, let's take a look at Daily Grind. Uh, they like his points the best for prize picks at 10 and a half, 51.06% odds to hit the over minus 123. And uh, that 10.5 line is everywhere. So if you prefer that, take that. Um, but it's it's a uh, favorite to go over, not heavily juiced everywhere, but you know, like minus 122 on underdog. Uh, we have some minus 130s, but it's nothing like heavily juiced. Uh, the rebounds are also favored to go over just, I mean, it's like 0.2% difference, 51.04% minus 123 still. And um, yeah, uh, we have it all the way up to a minus 135 on some of these platforms, uh, multiple minus 130s. So I, I like this better than the points personally. Uh, and if you wanted to, you can also just combine those at 17 and a half, but you are getting another 0.5 added to that if you combine the six and a half and the 10 and a half points, uh, six and a half rebounds. So I just like the rebounds alone. Um, he's been, he's been, you know, he's, he's looking solid. He's looking in rhythm here. Um, so I'm feeling great about that play. Let's talk about Cam. Cameron Johnson, former son. I loved this dude when he played for the Suns. Um, yeah, I think 14 and a half points is is fine. Like, let's take a look at this injury report. Um, he was aged like point. six years in the last year, by the way. <laughs> he looks like yeah, a baby just, last year. Now he looks like a grown man. I think it's the facial hair. Like he's got the he's got the yeah, the mustache sure. going on now. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, he looks a little. He 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 got paid so. Maybe, uh, so Ben Simmons is a game time decision. Uh, let's see what they're saying about that. <laughs> yeah. Lower back injury. That's the same old thing, man. Uh, unfortunately for Ben. So I think whether Ben plays or not, I like him to go over 14 and a half points. Um, let's take a look at what his minutes have been. Yeah, kind of staying in that high 20s, 27.6 and 26.2. Um, shooting 55% from beyond the arc. That's why I miss, I'm, I kind of miss him. Although the Suns look good, but I, I liked Cam a lot. Um, yeah, 5.5 attempts per game over this two game stretch. And uh, let's see. Oh, that's just the head to head. So he's gotten it done in the head to head. So he hasn't done it a lot actually um, in 2024. He's only done it once. So keep that in mind. Um, Let's see, has he played? I don't think Ben has, could be wrong. I don't think Ben's been out this, oh yeah. So Ben has been out. So the one game Ben was out uh, so far this season is when he popped off for 20. So if Ben ends up missing, uh, that that is telling us it's probably better for him to get this done. Um, but either way, I, I'm, I'm comfortable taking it. Like I said, I like, the PJ Washington play better, but I would absolutely pair this with these plays. If you can't get the PJ Washington, I'm comfortable with it. Um, so a little bit more accurate. He's actually averaging 33.8 minutes per game, 2.7 fouls uh, over the 2024 season so far, shooting 41% uh, from the field, 11.8 attempts and shooting 36% from three, averaging three made per game, 8.3 attempts. So I'm comfortable with it. Um, Let's see the matchup here uh, against power forwards, 12th in points allowed. So a little bit above average matchup, nothing too scary, but Detroit looks at least better than they did last year. Um, but yeah, I, th I think I think he'll be able to get it done, but go with your gut. Uh, let's uh, actually pull up the optimizer. We'll see the optimizer just like shut me down on this take. I bet you. Um, I literally did. <laughs> yeah. It's like, nope, you're not. We're not going to let you take this. <laughs> um, I think sometimes like on the optimizer. Okay. Let me just refresh this. Is it really just going to say like, no. <laughs> I 
Okay, it's set to overs. Let me go to all. It's gonna be hilarious if it's like every option of his. It's like, no, we're favoring all of these to go under. <laughs> all right, Cam, we'll start with Cam. If that doesn't work, I'll type in Cameron. No, Cameron. Okay, so <laughs> it's, it's just, uh, maybe don't take this play. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm comfortable with it. So go with your gut. If you don't like it, I totally understand. Let me just look at something. If you want a pivot, if you're not comfortable, cause since the optimizer is shutting me down on that, uh, the, the top, the second best play that they have on the board, um, is Anthony black points, rebounds over nine and a half, which actually does sound good. Yeah. So, uh, minus 139, 53.64% odds to hit the over. Um, and every, well, yeah, platforms are already bumping this to 10.5. So no, uh, no Paulo Bancaro and potentially no Wandel Carter either. So keep that. let's roll that. So <laughs> strike the, strike the Cameron Johnson. Hey, we're, this is what we're doing. We want you guys to cash. So, um, uh, let's let's do that instead uh, of Cam. So we'll go Anthony Black. I don't want this to take forever, but let's just let me just take a second and pull up pull him up on Outlier. Uh, and we'll take a look at these points rebounds. Well, his assists are an EV plus to go under, so maybe the points rebounds are the play. All right, 2024. Let's look at the matchup. First in points allowed. So tough matchup for points, but again, yeah, like uh, no Bancaro. So they're going to need him to be scoring some, but 18th in rebounds allowed. So really soft matchup with rebounds allowed. He has gone over at four out of his six games. Last game out, he missed this by one point or rebound. Um, and then let's see. Uh, let me just take Bancaro out of the equation here. Wendell Carter Jr. is a game time decision too. Yeah, that's what I was saying. So he's probably going to get a lot more time. Cool. Yeah, let's roll it. Uh, we're going to go Anthony Black points rebounds. Um, and that's why we love the DFS optimizer. Uh, and you're in a pinch. It's like, hey, we got you. Um, but if you guys want to check out Outlier, uh, just go through the link in the description. It's a killer tool. It can help you dial in your details and make sure that you, you know, we use both of these. We use the optimizer and then we we go vet it with Outlier. It's a, it's a killer combo to have. Uh, but just go through the link in the description for Outlier and they're going to let you try it out free for a week. And it, that's so much value right now with basketball and football. So might as well. Go check it out. All right, Jordy, passing it over. All right. Yeah. So, you know, you heard him. Um, the optimizer from Daily Grind is awesome. I'll uh, just talk about that real quick. If you guys want to check out the optimizer, you've just seen how it works that easy. You just refresh it and eventually it'll give you some insane value on the board. Um, or if you know, nothing's popping up and it's in a slow day, you can kind of look through the whole thing and it's like a, a shopping menu. You know, you can kind of pick out the best plays and go vet it with something like outlier or just you know the last five games from prize picks if you're trying to save money or whatever it is but it is the best uh tool you can honestly get i mean it's it's so money like you can see jade and ivy was juiced um before he got taken away on prize picks but we're still getting that on two other platforms here so i can just type in jade and ivy and it'll give me all his plays right here so use code backdoor at checkout and they'll give you a 25 percent discount on whatever you lock it in for a month three months a year they'll help you uh by giving you 25% off when you use code backdoor at checkout. So definitely do that. Um, let's get into these now. Uh, Clint Capella, over 11 points and assists. I really like this line. Over the last three games, he's really kind of lo been locking in a little bit better. Um, he's gone over this in three straight games. He's had uh, 16 points, two assists, 12 points, one ass or no assists, and then 15 points, one assist. So in pretty tough matchups too. I mean, the Washington game is whatever. He played Washington twice. They've honestly been looking a lot better. I mean, they beat Atlanta in both of these games. So the Washington is kind of on the come up because they score so much and they run the floor so fast. Um, but, you know, against uh, Sacramento, he he did really well. And DeMontis Sabonis is a great defender. So it's it, that's a tough matchup. Um, he went for 15 points, one assist against him. This is a little bit of a tough matchup, too, against New Orleans. Um, you know, obviously, this uh, younger kid, Missy, for the Pelicans, 
he gets really handsy and he fouls a lot. So I like this idea of Clint Capella being like the big body guy coming in and getting fouled a lot and getting easy buckets that way. The Pelicans are beat up right now. No DeJounte Murray, no Trey Murphy, no CJ McCollum, no Herb Jones, and Jordan Hawkins is a game time decision with a back injury. So they're drinking whatever Ben Simmons is drinking because all these guys are really hurt right now. So um, I like this to go over. You know, um, I th- he's going to get time. Um, Cody Zeller's still out. So they're not really the rotation right now is just capella and uh Onyeke. so i really like capella to go over this line <clears throat> uh, if we look at this on daily grind it is juice to go over as well 53.12 percent chance and a minus 137 to go over so really really digging this line here um and him and uh trey young and clint capella have always had a great connection so he's always lobbing capella and getting him set up for easy points so i really like our two plays correlating together on the Trey Young and the Clint Capella thing. I really do dig both of those plays a lot. So taking that one for over. Um, and then this Jaden Ivey rebounds for prize picks. I'll go over this really quick. I feel good about this at three and a half. I think it's also a really solid play. Jaden Ivey is a dog. And uh, in the last game against the Knicks, he only played 18 minutes for some reason. I'm not sure why, but he cashed his threes and his rebounds in that game. So the dude is usually playing upwards of 40 minutes. So maybe he got like banged up in that game, but he's not on the injury report at all. So not really sure what happened. I missed that game because there was a bunch of games on that night, but I do like this rebounds to go over. I mean, he got five rebounds in 18 minutes. I think we're safe and I think he could get us some in this matchup. It is a tough rebound matchup though. Um, overall, they're eighth, but to point guard and shooting guard, no matter what he's running, it is 13th and 19th in their ranking. So pretty soft matchups for him in the rebound category three-point shooting is a little bit tough um 16th so not horrible i think he can get that done no problem Jaden ivy is a sniper and the dude takes a whole bunch of attempts he was only able to get four up on the limited amount of time he played but he gets shot 50 percent and hit two still so the 1.5 line i even like the two and a half line demon to be honest with you because if he's shooting nine attempts and making five seven and making three what's two and a half and giving us a higher multiplier on it so i do like the threes still at two and a half for the demon but that's up to you guys i mean he's only cashed it in two out of his last five so go with your gut on that one but i'll probably be rolling it in some yellow slips um just because it's like the early game too at 240 so i always like to play some early slips and then some later slips and some all together but um yeah so the uh the three points are the highest juiced obviously and the rebounds oh, let's refresh and see what they're giving us so the rebounds are minus 132 to go under. So if you don't like that, you don't have to go with it. But he got five and 18 minutes in the last game, which was also a tough rebounding matchup. So that was the Knicks. He did that against. And they're one of the best rebounding teams out there. So I'm not trying to convince you to take something you're not comfortable taking. But that's just a pivot on prize picks. I would honestly still roll the demon three slip. So that's just me. But um, yeah, that's going to cover it for me. Um, like I said, I already mentioned daily grinds, so that's going to do it for me tonight. All right. Uh, did you already talk about Chalkboard? Uh, I did not. Um, yeah, if you guys want to check out Chalkboard, it's another platform we're partnered with. 100% deposit match. Use code BACKDOOR. They're going to give you a 100% deposit match up to 100 bucks plus a free pick to cash your first slip. Um, yeah, it, they're great. They have uh, it's, it's just another competitive uh, DFS platform. And uh, the best thing about them is they've got like all the alt lines in the world, great multipliers, and they run like six specials a day minimum. Uh, So yeah, if you guys want to check that out, there's a link in the description of the video. If you want to come join our Discord, uh, we have an awesome community and it just keeps getting better. Um, we, We work together, we build out slips together, we work on second half slips together, we chat during the games. Uh, we just have a really good time um and uh yeah you when you go to the the like the the share your pick section you can see down here um once you're in here everybody's just like putting their best slips together and you can just tail it's like i always refer to it as like a menu you can just quickly go through and just kind of be like okay you know what looks good today like what is this person going for what is that person going for and if you like it you can just the, the link's right there you can just copy it um so it's really killer. And a lot of times you might see like four plays you like. You can copy it real quick and then swap out the last two, you know, kind of fine tune it to what you want. So the community is our strongest resource. It's I mean, it. we love what we do, but we we have a lot of really awesome people in our discord and together we we thrive. So 
Um, if you guys want to come join us, go through the Patreon link that manages the subscriptions for the Discord. Um, so yeah, you sign up there. Once you're once you're signed up, you go into the settings uh, tab, and there's a connected apps option in the menu bar. Uh, you just connect your Discord. It'll just uh, log you in right there, and then uh, hop in the community chat. Once you get into the Discord, let us know you're new so we can show you around. Make sure you uh, are getting the most out of the Discord, and we can welcome you and, and whatnot. Um, and then, uh, if you want to come follow us on our socials, um, at Backdoor FS on TikTok, Instagram, and uh, X, and uh, we are working on like it, you know expanding the content. Uh, for all of our social media but um but we post some bonus content on here you can follow moose me jordy uh all of us are our handles are in the the, the description of the video but man uh i'm so freaking tired <laughs> but uh but i love these late night videos i'm glad we're back to doing it uh if you guys appreciate our content make sure to give us a like drop us a comment if you have any questions about any particular play we'll try to get back to you um, and, uh, yeah, we will see you in just a little bit for the NFL picks for tomorrow. All right. Good luck guys.